Hey everyone, this is Dwight from Good Sounds. Today we're going to continue our video series on mic plot and palladium by demonstrating how to create your movements on the movements page in mic plot. If you haven't seen our previous videos where we completed the show page and character and cast pages, you may want to check those out. This video is a continuation of that process and will require you to have input information into those earlier pages. The movements that are created in Mikeplot will be the foundation for your cue list when imported into Palladium. They will also be used to help create your final Mikeplot by helping the program to determine who needs a mic, when they need a mic, who will be conducting mic swaps, and when those mic swaps will occur. When looking at the movements page in Mikeplot, you will see several different sections on your screen. At the top, you will see the movements section that includes all of the movements that have been created and their details. In the middle of the screen is the properties section, where you will create the details of your movement, or queue. Here, you will create a unique ID, add a title for your queue, indicate the page number where the queue occurs, and give a description of your queue if you choose. You can also add notes to your queue descriptions if necessary. That can be accessed by selecting the notes button to the right of the queue field. Below this section are two boxes that list the characters that are off stage and on stage. All of the characters that you created on the characters page will be listed in the off stage box. By selecting characters in the off stage box and dragging them to the on stage box, we will tell the program that those characters' mics need to be turned on. By dragging the characters from the onstage box to the offstage box, we will tell the program that those characters' mics need to be turned off. This process builds the cue list that will allow Palladium to run your show by turning microphones on and off. At the far right of the movements page, you will see boxes for entrances and exits. These boxes indicate when characters have been moved to the onstage box or offstage box so that you can see what changes have been made with each new movement created. Based on the mic priority you had chosen for each character that you added on the character page, the color of the character when moved to the onstage box will be representative of that priority. Green will mean that the character must have a mic. Orange will mean that it would be nice to have a mic, but not necessary. And red means that they will not have a mic at all. So let's get started creating our movements. The first thing we will want to do is give our movement, or cue as it will be referred to, a unique ID number. You can decide what ID system will work best for you. But what we have found is that by using a system based on the page number where the queue will occur, we can identify our queues very easily and make any changes we need to without affecting the ID numbers of the rest of our queues. Plus, it will identify for us the page that we should be on. So for our demonstration, based on the script for this particular show, our first queue will be labeled as 2.1. This tells me that the queue happens on page 2 and is the first cue on that page. I can give the cue a title and will generally use this field to indicate what characters are moving on or off stage. When I import this file into Palladium, I can see in my cue list what I should expect to happen with this cue. It proves to be very helpful to me. After we give a title to our cue, we can select the page number where the cue will happen. Since we completed the information on the show page, you will now see all of the pages of your script listed in this drop-down list. So we can select page number two. We can also give a description to our queue. If you would like to leave your title field for other information, you could use this queue field to identify the character changes on and off stage. I will tell you that the way we indicate characters going on and off stage is by listing the characters coming on stage first, separated by a hyphen, and then the characters leaving stage next, following a backslash to separate them from the characters moving on stage. 
Again, they are separated from each other by a hyphen. I also include a capital X to indicate that the actors are leaving stage. So for a queue that would have people both entering and exiting, it would look like this. Here, I can expect Ozzy and Chip to be entering the stage, and Old Lady to be leaving. The entrance and exit boxes confirm this. Once I'm done creating my queue, I can select the Add button to begin creating my next one. Now, if we would later find out that we need some queues to be added before this queue, we can do so by simply giving the new queue an ID that would occur before 2.1. I can right click on queue 2.1 in the movement section. I will be given a menu of four options, including insert. Now I can give this queue an ID of 2.05. This would still allow me to add more queues between 2.05 and 2.1, as well as add queues before 2.05 but I can do all of this without affecting the IDs of all of my other queues. And I will know that these queues will occur on page two. Continue to create your queues using this process and whatever ID system you choose. The movement section of your screen will display all of the details for every queue you create. It will keep a chronological account of your queues by number so you can see how many queues have been created. It will also show you the ID you have assigned to that queue, the page number where the queue occurs, and any information you added in the title and queue fields. For us, we use the queue IDs to prepare our script. Much like a lightboard operator would do, we write the queue ID in our script where the queue needs to happen. We can then follow these queues when running our show with Palladium and allow Palladium to make the changes to our mixer by the press of a button. We are almost done with mic plot. Just a few more steps and we will have a complete mic plot and cue list ready to go. Join us next time when we finish up with the group page and create our mic plot. If you need some more assistance with mic plot or palladium or would like to purchase these programs, please let us know. We are a licensed distributor for CH Sound Design and would be happy to help you in any way that we can. You can check us out on Facebook or at goodsounddesign.com. Thanks for joining us and remember, if it can't be heard, it can't be good. <laughs>